In this episode, Brian talks about how you can look past the doom and gloom and capitalize on the investment opportunities that are all around us. This episode will give you the clarity to understand that the largest transfer of wealth is in these uncertain climates and during a recession. This episode will show you how to provide for your family, how to replace your salary, or even buy that dream Lambo. Fuck the lockdown. Free Fridays. Every Friday, we bring some fun and excitement back into business by giving away the unlocks you need to push you through the hurdles. Free training giveaways, free products, free mentoring, and all because it's Free Friday. So make sure you've left a review, posted questions in the Property Crash Course community, or done something great so we can salute you. Hey podcasters, where are we? Thursday, 24th of September. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys about the new lockdown measures, about um, the financial package that the government have brought out. Um, But I'm just going to talk to you first. That'll be another episode, actually. I'm just going to talk to you about some potential deals on the table today as a result of the new lockdown, the... um, the new restrictions the government have brought out. So they may seem all doom and gloom, but there's massive opportunities if you know where to look for these opportunities. Now, that's what I'm here for, to share with you guys how to spot these opportunities, how to find them, where to find them, how to structure them, how to fund them, how to fill them and everything else. So there's not really anything left for these so-called property gurus, self-claimed marketers that will charge you thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of pounds for the what I'm giving you for free basically and you probably won't even get anywhere near the same amount of content um, from those guys that you spend thousands with because um, I give it all away for free okay so anyway you guys results of the new lockdown measures, the new constraints, the new curfew things being having to be closed you know the pandemic's back where well, it hasn't really gone away, and now it's a bleak outlook for the next six months. However, when you understand how to look past the herd, look past the masses, look past the negativity, look past all the stress and all the crap and all the upset and all the panic and all of the fear that comes with all of that, you have complete clarity, and now you can see the opportunities, okay? Okay. If you can see the opportunities, that's where the money is made. Last night, there was a documentary on TV. I mean, I've known this for years. I've known this for years that the largest transfer of wealth happens in a down climate, a bad economy, a recession, a downturn, a crash, um, and things like that. When, you know, everyone's jumping out is when you want to be jumping in. That's not cliche. You may have heard it said a few times before, but that, my friends, is where the real money is made. So if you want to replace your salary as quick as possible, if you want to feed your family, provide for your family, secure your financial future, you know, raise money, you know, increase your game, increase your income, you know, level up, you know, increase your status, you know, make more money, buy a fucking Lamborghini, whatever the hell you want to do with the money. These episodes will give you the answers. So let me keep it brief. The lockdown announcements are announced on Monday. Okay, they've just happened. The curfews and everything else. I won't go into the details. You guys know all of that. If not, just go into Sky News or go into BBC News. You can find out exactly what has happened and the new restrictions. I'm here to show you how to make money from this. Okay, so we have a steady flow of deals that come in anyway. Okay, but what's happened is literally the following day you can imagine i'm talking about working with agents having relationships with agents now as you can imagine when an agent gets a deal and they decide to call you it's normally like ad hoc a deal may have fallen out of bed or somebody may have not been able to go through or they need to meet their targets at the end of the month or they need to make sure the landlord doesn't leave them etc or the vendor so they need to find someone Um, at a certain time. So they normally pick the phone up and they call my company. They call me to solve that problem and take that deal, okay? Now, these episodes are to help you guys become me, but not obviously become me, um, become your own version of me 
and uh, be the me person is what I mean, what I'm trying to say. So you can become the me person, the go-to person, the problem solver where agents go to when they need to find a solution to sell a property or to let a property and instantly, like the same hour, the same minute that they send it to me. It's like a yes, or we'll have a quick look. These are the numbers. As long as all is well, when we go there, we'll take the deal at these figures, okay? Now, yesterday, we have a phone call from the agency. The agency is saying, okay, obviously they've had a conversation, they've had their morning meetings, they've had all of their quotas, they've had the list of what's empty, they've had a list of what's problematic, they've discussed the list of what needs to let, what prices need to be reduced and everything else because the new restrictions means that they have to react. So today, actually today, no, yesterday afternoon, evening, sorry, Yesterday evening, I get some phone calls, I get some messages, and I get some emails. Am I in the market? Am I interested in looking at a list of everything they've got that hasn't moved? These are rental properties that we short let. These are rental properties that we sublet with consent. These are rental properties that we have consent to do whatever the hell we want with them. Um, from short lets, long lets, ASTs, company lets, um, holiday rental agreements, Airbnb, booking.com, contractors, um, students, um, professionals, the whole house, companies, break the rooms up, individual, room by room. We have consent to do absolutely everything else and everything and anything we want to do with that property once we enter into the deal. That's in our terms and conditions. So phone rings, are we in the market? We've got a bulk load of properties. We need to get rid of them. What's your appetite? How many do you want? You have first refusal. Have a look at these. So anyway, this morning I have six deals to look at. Six deals have been emailed in the same email from the agent. We have six. We want to get rid of these. We want to shift these. You know, we've worked with you before for however long. Um, you know, what prices would you think ballparks? Where would you be? I sent some prices before we even have a look. They talk to the landlords, talk to the owners, you know, to get some feedback from them. We've got a company interested in taking your property um, right now. No messing around. We've worked with them before. Um, this is what they do, etc., etc. Are you interested? All confirmed with a, a, a internal inspection or a, a viewing, you could say. Okay. So obviously the next step is for me to get inside. So as I'm about to get inside today, I've got, I don't know, six viewings booked back to back. Um, probably takes you about an hour and 15, an hour and 30 minutes. Six different locations. Look at six properties just to confirm the figures. Um, as I'm approaching the first one, I get another email with another one. We found something else. Are you interested in this one? It's a seventh property, et cetera, et cetera. They know my criteria. They know what I'm looking for. They don't send me any crap anymore. They send me exactly what I'm looking for with the motivated landlords. Don't send me any crap. They know this with some landlords that are just not motivated and they want the full amount, like £3,000 a month, etc. Um, they just simply don't work. So they're sending another one while I'm out on the viewing. Have a look at this. What do you think? Do you want to take this? Etc. Etc. Now, just to give you an idea, these six properties, I'm not even including the seventh one, they currently rent for around about £220,000 a year. He's a number one Amazon bestseller. He's an NLP manipulator. He's a property course seller. He's a Lamborghini driving multi-millionaire property guru. Forget that same old boring, I am, me, 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 narcissistic podcast format, because nobody gives a f This podcast is all about you. So I'm taking these few seconds to thank you for subscribing, to thank you for leaving your five-star reviews, and thank you for sharing this show with all of your friends. My team and I will keep bringing you these episodes and answering all of your burning questions in my Facebook community group called Property Crash Course. If you can just keep telling all of your friends about this show. So if we took all six, if they worked, and believe me, I looked at all six today and they all can work, four definitely work, two probably could, you know, need a, wouldn't normally fit, but 
it would be me leaving money on the table if I didn't put the offer in to take those last two, okay? So let's assume we went ahead with all six. As a result of the lockdown, guys, as a result of the new measures, as a result of all the doom and gloom, which is paralyzing people out there, paralyzing investors, you know, taking you know money away from people, putting people into para- par- paralysis, paralysis because they don't know what to do, they don't know where to turn, they're frozen. They're fucking like ice, they're just frozen. They don't know, shall I do this? Oh, I'm not sure, what if that happens? Shall I do that? Well, I'm not sure, what if this happens? Shall I do this? Well, I'm not sure, what if this happens? What about if I do that? Well, he said this, forget that crap. You need to get in the trenches, roll your sleeves up, take some risk, and do some fucking deals. You're never going to make any progress. You're never going to go any further if you don't get into the trenches and start to do the fucking deals while there's blood in the water. There's blood in the water right now. It's a transfer of wealth. And let me go back to the numbers before I digress. So this generates... um, Okay, with the seventh property, which I haven't actually looked at yet, this generates just under a quarter of a million pounds a year. That would be added to my business like that in one day. A quarter of a million pounds a year in revenue. That's what this adds to my business, okay? If I take all seven of these properties, okay? Which are rental properties on a lease that we can sublet, okay? Now, how many times have I just said okay? Turn into a bit of a habit. Okay, 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 okay. I'll stop saying okay, okay? Now, quarter of a million pounds it generates, which is in the region of about, what's that, a month? Uh, me, how many? It's about 23 grand, 22 grand a month around there. I'm not, I'm driving, okay? You know, don't quiz me on my maths, I'm driving. It's about 23, 22 grand um, a month. In revenue, it's about a quarter of a million pounds a year, okay? Somewhere around that figure. Now, if, sorry, 24, if, 25, if we went ahead and took all seven, the profit that it would generate for my company, the, the profit, not talking about this and that and revenue, the profit would be in the region of about seven to eight thousand pounds a month. This is profit, guys. About seven to eight grand a month, and it would generate around about eighty grand a year. Eighty thousand pounds a year, guys. We have some expenses to come off of that. Um, But that's more or less our net profit. If anybody out there listening to this is struggling to make money, struggling to feed their family, struggling to pay their bills, this isn't to brag or to boast or anything at all like that. It's just to show you what's possible because the largest transfer of wealth, my friends, is happening right now. Don't don't look at all the doom and gloom and on Sky, on the news, everything else, and think, oh my God, it's fucked. We're fucked. I'm fucked. Okay? I've been in this position before and I didn't act. And I missed out on a lot of money because I didn't act at the time. This is a 2007, 2008 crash. I didn't go all in to grow my company. I didn't go all in. I was nervous. I was like a bear, like, ooh, not sure, standing up on my on my two two feet, on my back legs, like, ooh, not really too sure, not knowing which way to go, where to turn, what to do, how to maneuver, will it get better, will it get worse? And coming out the other side, all you have is the knowledge and the experience, okay? So because I've been through some recessions before, been through some ups and downs, been to fucking jail, okay, and started again from zero, You learn from coming out of the other end. And what I've learned, which I want to share with you guys, is right now is the largest transfer of wealth. This does not come round that often. The last time I can remember would have been 2008, 2009, in that crash, okay? Around that time. That's how many years ago is that? 12, 13 years? This does not come round that often, guys. If you don't move, if you don't act, you'll stay exactly where you are or further back. You won't progress at all. Mentally, physically, physiology, emotionally, 
um, financially, with confidence and everything else, if you don't act and you don't move and you don't take risk because remember people always need accommodation in the uk people will always need housing in the uk it's an island it's a commodity it's getting smaller and smaller and more and more and more people are coming which pushes the prices up long term anyway you do the numbers you look at the maths house prices have risen seven percent on average since 1942 rents continue to rise guys okay now Like I just said, this deal or these deals that they've offered us in one day in the aftermath of the new COVID lockdown measures and properties they've got empty and they want to get rid of them. Seven properties would generate quarter of a million pounds in in, in revenue, gross revenue for my company. From that, about 80,000 is our net profit a year. I will take all seven of these deals. I'm putting forward an offer for all seven of these deals that I have been working on this afternoon. I'm just parking the car, back at the garage, heading back to my house, refine the offers, sending those to the agent. When they wake up in the morning, straight into the office, open email, there's seven offers. I'm hoping to get all of them agreed, but in reality, maybe because of the numbers and the low figures that we pay, et cetera, et cetera, we may get 50% of them agreed. If we get seven, it depends how motivated they are. If we get 50%, then I'm completely happy with that. If we do all seven, a quarter of a million pounds in revenue, guys, and around about £80,000 a year in net profit for my company. Growing the company like that. This is not to boast, guys. This is to show you what's possible. No mortgage deposit. No credit. Doesn't matter if you're bankrupt. You don't need to pay solicitors to buy the property. You don't need to spend any money to refurbish the property. You don't need to get a mortgage. You're renting the property from a landlord via an agent. The landlord is taking the hit with everything. The mortgage costs, the mortgage balance, the risk. Um, the repairs, the maintenance, the mortgage deposit, the solicitor's fees and everything else because they own the property. This is this is a masterclass that I'm sharing with you right now of controlling property, making a lot of money in cash flow, probably 10 times more than the landlord makes. And they bought the fucking property. I hope you got some value from this episode. Go call some agents. Get fired up, get motivated, listen to some more of my episodes. It's 100% free if you're not sure, you haven't got the confidence. Just binge, don't go watching fucking Netflix and all that shit. Tiger King, whatever the crap that is. Fucking binge on my episodes. This is a masterclass in business and entrepreneurship and money-making tactics. Some real case studies, some real deals. What we're actually doing right now in my business to grow my company through the pandemic. And you can do exactly the same, just following my footsteps and listening to this podcast. It's free. Share this podcast with as many people as you can to help them, to inspire them. And damn, just leave me a review. Let me know what you think. If you get any value from these episodes, you guys have been listening for a while. Just leave me a review, man. Share some love. Send me some love. He's a number one Amazon bestseller. He's an NLP manipulator. He's a property course seller. He's a Lamborghini driving multimillionaire property guru. Forget that same old boring I am me, me, me narcissistic podcast format because nobody gives a fuck. This podcast is all about you. So I'm taking these few seconds to thank you for subscribing, to thank you for leaving your five star reviews, and thank you for sharing this show with all of your friends. My team and I will keep bringing you these episodes and answering all of your burning questions in my Facebook community group called Property Crash Course. If you can just keep telling all of your friends about this show.